wait to get to this scope story, I get to go see one of my favorite rappers in concert, Michael OG. I'm not really sure what the science behind this story is. Maybe it's something to do with sound and music, but I guess I'll find out when I get there. Where are we, Jack? Are you sure we're in the right spot? Hey, Matt, how's it going? Uh, hi, what is this? Where's the concert? What concert? The Michael OG Project. Oh, the concerts don't start until December at the Woodford Folk Festival. But what we're doing is the Mycology Project. Wait, I'm confused. What's, what's mycology? It's the science of studying fungi. So like mushrooms? Yeah, fungi that grow all over the forests and mushrooms that we can eat. Uh, okay, I'm out of here. But wait, Matt, I've got to show you something. Fungi are actually really cool. What we're going to do is um, introduce people to the science of mycology by studying as citizen scientists. People can learn all the cool things that fungi do for us in the environment. So if you'd like to learn more, come out with me and have a look at some more fungi. I'm gonna miss the Michael OG project to look for mushrooms. Okay, sure, let's go. Come on. So why is mycology important? What does fungi actually do? They actually decompose wood and all, everything that's in the forest is getting decomposed by fungi. And those nutrients then get fed to the tree through the mycorrhizal network or mycelium of the fungi that are actually connected to the root system of the trees. So while these guys are decomposing, the guys underneath are actually feeding the entire forest. And this is what we call the wood wide web. So why do you need citizen scientists for this project? Well, Matt, in particular with mycology, it has not been offered um, at universities since the 1970s. It's a very undermined science. And also we only have a few actual mycologists in Australia. So it's really important to get people engaged in the science and actually discover more about our fungi, because our fungi are so important, as you have heard. Mm, OK, and who can get involved in this project? Anyone is welcome to get involved. And let's go and meet some citizen scientists um, now. Right now? Yeah. Let's go. So Matt, these are our citizen scientists looking for fungi at this cool creek. And look at all the fungi they have found. Yeah, there are tiny mushrooms within the mushrooms. Let me see. Whoa. I've learned that fungi can come in all different shapes. It can come in like a fungi type disease. It can even come in like moss and stuff, which is cool. And spores, and obviously mushrooms, and mycelium. Got some decomposing fungi, some, I think, were paint fungi. Oh wow, that's a great example just there of mycelium, that running line. Yeah. So Sandra, once you've collected all this data and these specimens, what do you do with it? So you actually record it properly first, draw it up, describe what you've got, and then you look under the microscope, look at your spores, you dry them up, and then you send them off to the uh, Queensland Herbarium, and there mycologists um, look at it and actually identify whether there's possibility of a new species being found, and just knowing where species have been found. Well, Sandra, thanks for convincing me to stick around. I did actually have a pretty fun time. Well, you are a fun, fun guy, Matt, so I think it's good that you learned more about fun guys. <laughs>